Hey guys, thank you for tuning in for another video. Today we're going to talk about something that has been all over the internet and I just, I guess it's finally time to start talking about it. It's the whole idea that Jenna Frank wants to become the new Green Ranger in honor of her dad, which is honestly a very sweet thing. I, I think that's awesome that she wants to do that or she has any desire to do that. I keep seeing people say is that they really want her to be Kimberly and Tommy's daughter. Tommy and Catherine and Cannon are together. That's just the way it's been forever i'm just gonna be blunt people need to get past the whole kimberly and tommy thing they didn't end up together the show has moved on past that just get over it and honestly any idea that tommy would maybe cheat on Catherine or had this baby with kimberly years ago would really just degrade his character in every way and it would just mean that tommy wasn't a great person the person we all want thought he was just drop it okay now in tommy's lore there's a few different descendants that we know about or at least speculate about of course there's jj who's from soul of the dragon comic and then was put into canon in the ninja steel crossover and so we do have that character. He's, of course, going to become the Green Dragon SPD Ranger. So that character has been established. Now, could we turn JJ into a female? There's nothing that says we couldn't, but I'd have to go back and rewatch to make sure whether or not they say a he. JJ, I thought I told you not to leave your bike here. Sorry, Dad. It's okay, kiddo. Now, in the Zeo Christmas special, we do see a flash forward to Tommy and Catherine being together in old age and Tommy's reading stories about the Power Rangers. We do have two unnamed grandsons that are in canon. He eventually runs out the door and morphs into a Red Ranger. We don't get to see him. We don't get to see what his suit looks like. He does have a communicator that looks like an original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger risk com, but who knows? Now, I didn't notice this about the Zeo episode until I researched it, but I thought that that was a dad and his son. So I thought that could potentially be considered JJ, even though he's not named. Both of the people in that episode are their grandsons. The older one says to Tommy and Catherine, oh, mom and dad says hi. So that could be JJ's kids. JJ's son becomes a Red Ranger. Now, we don't know whether that's SPD related. Again, he has an old-fashioned communicator, so it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to be SPD, but maybe he has branched off. So maybe he took over the Zeo powers. Now, what could be interesting is that maybe the younger one would take over the Dino Thunder powers or the White Ranger powers or someone else down the line, depending on how big this family tree goes. Another character in the lore of Power Rangers is Agatha, which was only seen in the Zeo quest for Cat. Of course, this character was played by Catherine herself. The canon version of this is that Cat's character, as a child, actually went to the future, and Agatha was supposed to be a descendant. I thought Agatha was supposed to be like an ancestor, but no. She is a descendant of her in the future. Could we technically have Jenna play Agatha in the future? Sure. I mean, she has blonde hair, and she looks exactly like Catherine at this point, but... I mean, anything's possible. I honestly think the best way to do this is to use an offshoot of Tommy, as in like the white stranger from the Wild West Rangers, or what I think would be the best is making Jenna the descendant of Tom Oliver, who's the evil clone of Tommy, who takes on the green powers and then is left in the past to help people using the Green Ranger. That, to me, could create one of the coolest storylines if we already have J.J. established we could put Jenna as evil Tommy's descendant and they could have some sort of conflict and trying to battle it out. Maybe JJ wants the Green Ranger power and says she doesn't deserve it. She has to fight him to keep it. It could create a really cool storyline. What's really nice to see is that people seem to be extremely supportive of Jenna and that they want her to become a Power Ranger. Power Rangers takes on a lot of people who aren't super super experienced in acting i mean chance perez who plays javi he really doesn't have any acting credits before he took on this role i mean he was kind of in the spotlight he was in a boy band from a tv show and he has had some fame and kind of dealt with that but he wasn't an actor necessarily he has done a great job though so jenna could do a great job her acting credit is not super dense um she of course has the my morph in life which was the reality show that jason david frank did i'm sure there's some sort of elements to that that are a little more like planned out but for the most part it's more 
just kind of being you and just talking. The thing that we are going to see is Legend of the White Dragon. She's in that, and I'm excited to see what she does with it because I, I haven't really seen her act yet. So it'll be interesting. I got to do an interview with Jason Font, who, of course, is involved in the project. At the time, he did mention to fans that it's going to be out in the spring of 2023. Now, I don't know if that plan is still going ahead with JDF's passing, but I do know that that's, that was the plan at one point. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Diving deeper into what's going on with Jenna, her YouTube channel has some kind of vlog style stuff. A lot of those videos are like three or four years old at this point, so they're not super current. Um, so I'm sure she's grown and changed a lot, but most of those videos are pretty stereotypical of someone just kind of getting started on YouTube, an introduction video, daily routine video, but nothing really into acting. There is a video of her showing off some martial arts skills and more of a uh, TV show style fight scene. Definitely has experience. She's been doing martial arts from a young age because of her father. Great for any Power Ranger to have. Power Rangers has shifted over the years to being a lot more about the acting than the fighting because they have stunt people they can do all that stuff they don't necessarily have to have somebody who can do those things even though it is really nice now the one thing i'm really trying not to do is to compare her to charlie kirsch because charlie kirsch of course has been announced as the new yellow ranger or i shouldn't say new yellow ranger but trini's daughter you know she has no relation to twi trang there's she's just another actress that they found who i did a whole video on it she's going to do great i'm super super excited to see her do her thing i think she's going to be outstanding i think that she probably should be someone that is in power rangers for a long time but I don't mean to compare her and Jenna. But it's hard not to, you know. The only reason I worry about Jenna's kind of short acting career is that generally Power Ranger fans were pretty supportive and we are being right now. And people are saying they want her to be the next Green Ranger. The thing that gets me, though, is that, you know, for years and years I listened to Ranger fans say, we want a grittier, more mature Power Rangers. They gave us that with the 2017 movie. And there's lots of people who liked it. Personally, I'm one of those people. I wish it would have gotten a sequel. I understand why it didn't. Now there's people who said they wanted it more gritty and they have a problem. Some people say it wasn't gritty enough. I saw one comment of a guy saying that he wanted there to be a sex scene in it. Why would there be a sex scene in Power Rangers? That's not going to happen. Another person said that they didn't like that the Rangers had issues. They wanted them to just be perfect human beings, but they also want it to be gritty. It needs to be gritty just in the right ways. What worries me about that sort of mindset is that people are saying, yeah, yeah, we want Jenna, we want Jenna. If she gets into it, and she can't bring the acting that really needs to be in honestly such a serious role for Power Ranger fans, I don't want to see people attacking her and going at her and saying she sucks or she's horrible or this was a terrible idea or she's entitled because the only reason she got the part was because of her dad. We'll see with Legend of the White Dragon. I mean, I don't know what her acting skills are, but I, I don't know yet. That's the problem. People who are all jumping on saying, yeah, yeah, she needs to be the next Green Ranger. The show, Hasbro, they're only going to bring her on if they think she's going to do a great job and they're only going to bring her on if it's really going to be a positive thing for the fan. When you're looking at advertising, it could be a really great story saying, you know, the original Green Ranger's daughter is taking on a role in Power Rangers. That might, I mean, that would definitely be a story, you know, coming, bringing some attention back to the franchise. But as you can see, I'm filming part of this video later on because there's some things that have developed that I think we need to maybe look at when we talk about this subject, because none of what I'm going to talk about, anything I want to encourage you to go attack people or slander people online there is a lot of drama right now happening with the frank family and that's not to say this is for entertainment or for fun but when we're talking about jenna taking over as the green ranger i think this is something that maybe needs to be brought to light for fans who are not really in the know about what's going on now when jdf passed away a lot of people were saying you know we're thinking about tammy and jenna and that's of course frank's wife who did file for divorce in August of 2022, but they never officially divorced, and it sounded like they were trying to get their marriage back on track. But a lot of people were reaching out to them, saying that you know they were thinking about them and they're sorry for their loss. But I remember hearing a story from David Yost about him babysitting uh, Jason's kids. I know that Tammy and Jason didn't marry till 2003, so he must have had a marriage before that, which I was right. He was married to Shauna Frank in 1994 to 2001. And they had three kids, Sky, Hunter, and Jacob. Now, Sky is a recording artist who has been pretty vocal recently about 
the relationship between her and Tammy. You know, Sky's been doing interviews talking about the fact that her brothers were not allowed to be at the There was a guest list at the and anybody who wasn't on the list was not allowed in. Her brothers were not on the list and they were made aware of that. A lot of stories that Sky tell are pretty realistic as far as what happens in these sort of situations. Things like Tammy would typically get really worked up about Jason spending any money on his other kids. And she really only wanted money spent on her and Jenna. That is something that I've heard in a ton of different people who are in that position of divorced parents where one gets remarried. That is nothing that can really be proven, but judging from the stories that Sky tell, it sounds pretty realistic. It doesn't sound very made up to me. The other thing is that the whole entire estate from JDF is now going straight to Tammy and Jenna. I'm not going to get into too much of this because I don't know all the details, but now Tammy is starting to claim Jason didn't have a relationship with his kids. They had nothing to do with him. And Sky's going off saying that's not true. That's completely a lie. And actually, the only reason why maybe Tammy doesn't know is because every time Jason did something for them or bought something for them, he was telling them don't tell Tammy about it because he knew she'd be upset. Now, these assumptions are kind of being backed up by the fact that a lot of things Tammy is saying about the night that Jason died is not lining up with what the police are saying. She claims that, you know, they were at the hotel having a great time and she left the room to get snacks. And then uh, when she came up, he had committed suicide. The police report says that they were having an argument. The police had to come and Jason had actually locked her out of the room. The, he wasn't responding. She seems to not be telling the full story. Now, again, this is not meant to be trolling. I don't want this to be super negative. But it is raising some red flags to me. The social media platforms for Jason are kind of being put as a memorial to him. I don't know whether merchandise is going to be trying to be sold. I don't know what's going to happen with them. But it seems like they're trying to maintain this. I'm going to be cynical and say they're trying to maintain this business to keep going. They say they're doing it for the fans. And that's great if they're doing it for the fans. But I don't know whether it's for the fans or the fact that, hey, Jason's been providing for them for all these years. They really haven't worked. And now that he's gone, we don't have any money coming in. And we got to figure out a way to make money. And one of those things I see is that Jenna is already doing Comic Cons. Now, she's in Legend of the White Dragon. It hasn't been released yet, but she's already doing Comic Cons. And I don't know when that post was about her becoming a ranger. I don't know. That could have been something that was posted three years ago. And people are just bringing it up now as like a story to tell. What I do think is that if you have time and you want to support Sky or her brothers, I would say just send them a nice comment on a video on their Instagram, something, and just say, hey, you know, you guys are great, thinking about you, keep strong, and that be it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Again, let's stay positive. No need to attack anybody. Let's just keep things on the up and up, you know what I'm saying? So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great one.